This video is brought to you by the Battle Zoo Bestiary, a new book with over 100 award winning monsters and other resources from Paizo lead designer Mark Cypher. Sign up today at kickstarter.rollforcombat.com and join the campaign when it launches on August 31st. Hey everybody, Dave here with another Pathfinder rule reminder for you, and today's question is about tiny creatures and how they flank. And the simple answer to that is tiny creatures flank exactly the same way as any other creature even though they are able to occupy the same space as other creatures including their enemies. Uh, the flanking rules for, for tiny creatures have not changed at all. So just as a quick refresher, to get flanking you and an ally must be on opposite sides of an enemy creature and you must be able to draw a line from the center of your space to the center of your ally space and that line must pass through either opposite edges or opposite corners of that enemy. So simply put, being inside the space of that enemy will not meet those criteria and by raw you cannot flank while you're inside of that space. So that's really it in a nutshell, but let's take a look at a couple of, of specific examples. If the tiny creature is occupying the same space as the enemy and their ally is adjacent to it, would they get flanking? No, because again, you have to be on opposite sides and the line has to pass through opposite edges or opposite corners. But what if that enemy creature is large size? Uh, if you're a tiny creature and you're occupying one of these spaces inside of it and your ally is outside, do you get flanking then? The answer would be no. But what if the space that you're occupying within that large creature allows there to be five feet of distance that passes through the creature from you to your ally? Do you get flanking then? And again, the answer, the answer is no, because that line would not be passing through opposite edges or opposite corners of the enemy. It would be inside the confines of that enemy space, so that does not meet the criteria for flanking. Uh, what if you have two tiny creatures that are both inside the space of the large creature? Would they get flanking? And again, the answer to that would be no. And what if the tiny creature is adjacent to the creature outside of their space and they are wielding a reach weapon? Would they get flanking in that case? And the answer is yes, they, they would, provided that their ally is on the other side and the line passes through opposite edges or opposite corners of that enemy space, just like normal. So then naturally the next question is, if I want to play a tiny size rogue, how do I go about getting uh, flanking bonuses and, and getting my sneak attacks and all that good stuff? Uh, my first thought is, you can use a whip. A whip is a reach weapon, so it's going to have five feet of reach in the hands of a tiny PC, like a sprite, and it still has the finesse trait as well, so you could be a tiny sized rogue and be adjacent to the target and get the benefits of sneak attacking with that whip because it is a finesse weapon. And another thought is the Gang Up feat. Gang Up is a 6 level rogue feat that allows that rogue to be able to get the benefits of flanking with their allies as long as the enemy is within reach of both of them. They don't have to be on opposite sides, you don't have to draw a line from the center of their space to the center of their ally space that goes through the corners or edges. They just have to be uh, within reach of that enemy at the same time. So with that feat, if you were a tiny sized rogue and you were inside the space of that enemy, you would be able to get the benefits of, of, um, of flanking as long as your ally is within reach of that enemy as well. Now that would only give you, the tiny sized PC, the benefits of flanking. It would not give any flanking benefits to your other allies so uh, that's it. Uh, bottom line, flanking for tiny PCs works exactly the same way as it does for anybody else. If you want to play a tiny sized rogue, you might want to look into using a whip since it has both the reach and the finesse traits and the gang of feet might be of value to you as well. If you have any suggestions for future rule reminders, please leave those in the comments. I will also make sure that I leave links to any other videos that are related to this topic in the description of this video if you would like to have 
uh, more viewing and learn more about this topic, make sure you check out the description. And I want to make sure I take just a brief moment to thank everybody out there who supports me in this channel, whether that's by leaving your comments, sharing the videos with your friends, subscribing to this channel, liking this video, subscribing to the Patreon. I really appreciate everything everybody does to support me. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and happy gaming.